Hey, it's Ben here, and here in this tutorial we're going to have a look at how we can split multiple layers with the blade tool. Now, there's a couple of different ways we can do this. We're going to have a look at them both. So the first thing is, is if we grab our blade tool from our tools here on the left, when we hover across any clip, we can click somewhere on it when we're scrubbing, and you'll be able to split that clip, and you can see that dotted line shows the, the clip is split. Now, if we come to multiple layers, basically wherever we hover is where we are going to split those clips so you can see I'm kind of moving around the different layers and it is splitting them wherever I click. So I'm just going to do Command and Z a few times just to undo that. Now to split multiple layers, if we hold down Shift when we have the blade tool selected, we can move anywhere along our layered clips here and click and that will split all of those clips. So if I tap A to jump back to the selection tool, you can see the shortcuts for all the tools next to them here. And if we then select all these clips, you can see I've split all the clips from the top to the bottom of that stack of 25 layers. So really easily, we can split all those clips. Now, another way that we can do this, even with the selection tool selected, is just to move our playhead anywhere, either using the red scrubbing bar. We can do Shift, Command, and B, and that will do the same thing. It's gonna split at the playhead. Now we can do that at the, the red bar when we're scrubbing. So you would need to have scrubbing turned on on the right hand side here for this to work. Or we can move the playhead to a specific location and then with that playhead located, move away from the timeline and again do Shift, Command and B. And you can see now if we zoom in a little bit here, we have all of those layers split into four different sections. So if we just click on our timeline options here we can zoom into our timeline here a little bit and zoom out the height you'll see that if we manage the timeline options here first of all with the height and then also with what we're viewing so here we're not viewing the audio waveform or the video we can actually get to the point where we can see all those layers so now you can see where i've kind of split all 25 of those layers in those four different spots either by grabbing the blade tool and holding down shift as we're moving along or with a selection tool or any other tool selected shift command and b to split those clips so that's how to split multiple layered clips in final cut pro and so now one last thing just jumping back to the selection tool i'm just going to do shift and z so i can see my entire timeline here obviously now with all these stacked clips and some other kind of clips on my timeline i can select any one of these main layer clips and it will move that entire stack of that split screen to another location in the timeline. So you can see we can jump to and from that split screen throughout our edit. And this is a real nice way of setting up that split screen and then using it in different locations. If we, for instance, were working with this Brett FX split screen and we wanted to replace one of these clips, so I'm just gonna click on this clip here. I'm gonna tap V and that's gonna disable that clip. So we're working with this clip here. So I'm going to, for instance, replace this with another clip. We'll grab this image here. I'm going to mark an in point here and drag this down to the timeline. Just pop it right next to that clip. And now what I'm going to do is select this clip, go to Edit and Copy, and then select my new clip. So I've copied the Disable Clips properties. And now with my new clip in place there, I will just use Option and the right square bracket to trim that down. And now with this clip selected, I'm gonna do Shift, Command, and V, and that is gonna paste in the splits five by five gapped properties that I have on that disabled clip. And now you can see I can replace that clip. So it's this clip on the fourth row, second in here, um, with that new clip by copying and pasting those attributes from one clip to another. So I can make selections and jump between different clips quickly by copying and pasting those attributes as I decide which clip I wanna drop into certain parts of my video here. So hopefully that's useful if you do have a large number of clips that you do wanna split, and this would be a good example of where you'd wanna do that to kind of intersperse your split screen throughout your edit. And if you have any questions about Final Cut Pro, then do leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.